Okay, so this one is dry and I just wanted to show you how I peel the plastic off. I did leave this one sit overnight and I'll be able to use that plastic again. Um, it's feeling a little tacky from all the watercolor paint that's still in there, but I could always use the other side. So this one I didn't divide into sections because I actually want to use this as a page in my journal. So I'm going to make another one and uh, yeah, start another one. Now the paper here is not actually dry yet, so it was just dry enough to not mess with the design on here. But yeah, that's a really cool design. I had seen other people do it on YouTube and I don't know, for some reason I thought it would be a lot more work. But I did this the last thing before I left my art station here, craft station. And so it was sitting all night. So it dried pretty much up top where the saran wrap was, but the bottom is still very damp and I won't be drawing on it for now. I'll wait till it dries, but I can put that to the side. And I'm still using my watercolor paper from Walmart. I'm just gonna spray my colors here so they wake up. And so when I go to put this on here, I try to divide it so that I get at least 16 pieces. I'm not too fussy about the measurements. So I just go roughly. Now for the inside ones, I use washi tape because I don't want it to be overly wide. I find a half an inch washi tape is good. Even, what's this, about three eighths of an inch. That works as well. Now when this gets all, you know, stamped and splattered on, it, I still use it. I like that look. So it's not gonna go to waste, which is one of the reasons I actually like to use it. So about like that. All right. And then I'm just gonna lightly spray some water and then I'm going to take some water just make sure my brush is clean and I'm gonna start with the lightest color and one of the lightest ones that I want in here is the turquoise color. Just 
love it. And let it um, just do what it wants for now. Now, I've done this before. I just didn't use the um, saran wrap. So if it's not moving, I add a little water because I want it to move. Okay, and then I want some, I was going to say yellow, but I think I'm going to go with brown, different colors of brown. And it's really, I try and not to mix the colors too much. So I don't get the mud. And I think I'm going to try some um, green. Just kind of plopped in there. I'm trying to make it a little darker this time. Uh, I remember when I did this with inks, and they didn't—they didn't end up very dark. I felt like something was missing, so I'd actually rather they be a little darker, and I just think it adds more vibrance so all right the more water you put on here of course the longer it's going to take to dry so I don't want it to take too long either And I'm mopping up the water in some areas and spreading it to others, just so you don't have a lake. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is take the other side of this. I hope I got the other side. And then spread it out. And then just put it down. And squish it together. And you can see where the segments are going to be if you look at how the paper or the plastic is laying. And I think the more creased, the more interesting of a look you're going to get later. And I was really surprised at how much dimension this really does add. So now it has to dry and I'm going to help this one with my heat tool. I'll be back when I've 
at least dried it enough so that I can pull the plastic off. Okay, so I tried drying it with the heat tool. I didn't leave it in any one spot too long because I didn't want the plastic to melt. So now I'm going to pull the plastic off even though it's not completely dry. And this, of course, is at your discretion. But you can see that I have really cool designs in there. And yes, they're still wet, but I can now go back in with my heat tool and dry it the rest of the way because I'm not really that much that much of a patient person that I want to wait all night again. Okay, I'm going to try to do a couple of things on here. I buckled a little bit on me, but I'll just have to be more careful when I do my stamping. It feels fairly dry, so I'm going to start with the areas that I think are the most dry. And then, let's see. So with the last ones I made, I did some writing on there that I wanted. So something like, I'll take a pen. This is um, color fast and it's not going to move on me when if it gets wet because I will splatter some gold on it later. So this will, it's a um, Signo Uniball. This one happens to be bold. And so I'm just gonna, first I'm gonna probably try and move this. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. And then, I don't know, any sentiments that I want. Um, I may not do sentiments on all of these because they already look quite busy, but I also want to do some more like drawing and uh, stamping and things. So, hi again. <laughs> My uh, camera stopped working, so some of the stuff I had done did not record. So I'm back. Um, so where I left off was I was about to show you how I draw on here and that's what I did but it that's the part that didn't record so I'll do a couple more just so you're not left hanging. Um, so what I did was I wrote the sentiments with my pen. I think I said it's my Univol Signo. I use bold so that I can actually see it. And sometimes you have to go over stuff twice because you actually want it to be prominent. And two, I don't really like it if the spatter um, covers up the writing, so I might go over it. Okay, so like here where I wrote smile and then the spatter covered up most of the M here. Because I accident accidentally covered the M with the brush. So what else can we write? Choose joy. I think it would be nice to get some bee stamps. I don't have any, but I would love to use them. I know I could draw them, but sometimes you just want to stamp.
faith, hope, and love, these three remain. That's in 1 Corinthians 13. Okay, so I'm going to put some more butterflies on. And I explained earlier that um, I'm using my regular Distress Inks because... I don't want everything black, so I'm just going to use my, I still want it dark, just not black. So I'm going to use my ground espresso. And then I just randomly put butterflies on here and then I try not to actually put the whole thing on, just like at an angle. I try to make it look like they're moving, moving around. And I don't even care if they get onto the page beside. In fact, I like that. Ah. Okay, that's fine. It didn't hurt anything. And then if I have different size butterflies, which I do, I will grab different sizes and maybe put a, a secondary one in. Secondary, third. The little one I don't mind if it gets in there all the way. I do try to get them at different angles if I remember. Okay, so after I do the stamping, I switch pens and now I'm gonna use my Sharpie. Um, I'm not sure if it has a size. It's just a pen. And this one did a fair job with my drawing skills here. So I just go in and I add some doodles. And I just fill up the space as much as I want. Obviously I don't need to draw on the washi tape. Not to say that I haven't, but. Yeah, so I can go through these really quickly in a journal because they make excellent um, stuffing material for all those tuck spots. Oh yeah, something like that. And then this is where the gold comes in at the end. And I just grab my fan brush, put some gold on it, and then lightly spatter. Pretty sure I've forgotten which ones I had done earlier. So something like that. And again, I'm not going to do too many because this does take me quite a while to do all of them. So then after I've done whatever I wanted to do, I will pull the tape off. I won't do that just yet though because I have a lot more work to do. So I'm going to show you the ones I made yesterday. Different color scheme. And like I said, I get about 16 out of one sheet. So these are the ones I ended up with yesterday. And then I yeah, so I cut them apart. 
I use my trimmer and I don't mind that it looks raggedy on the sides. If I cared, I would have used my good trimmer. And then I rounded the corners and then after that I inked the edges with chipped sapphire. I decided to go with the blue instead of my usual brown just because it was there was more cool coloring going on here than brown or than warm so yeah so that's how I got these and I just really like how 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 3D they look because of that plastic film technique. I hadn't, uh, I've seen it done many times, but I never thought I would actually enjoy it because it seemed fiddly to me, but I'm finding out it's actually not so bad. So maybe you give something a try that you've been putting off and that you liked and uh, see how it goes. Maybe you'll be happily surprised. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.